नाइन आई फेलोशिप्स इन क्रिटिकल केयर फॉर डॉक्टर्स फॉर नर्सेज फॉर पैरामेडिकल्स सो लेटेस्ट डिस्कस टूडे ऑल दिस फेलोशिप्स एंड इट्स डिटेल्स वेलकम यू ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप पटेल फाउंडर एंड सी ई ओ एट डॉक्टम एंड सो इफ यू आर न्यू इन टू दिस डॉक्टम चैनल सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डेवलप अ कॉन्सेप्ट वीडियोज ऑन मेडिकल सब स्पेशलिटीज एंड प्रैक्टिस रिलेटेड वीडियोज विच इज the why fellowship in medical practice is required what are the dilemma in sub specialty pra- medical practice while choosing it there are uh, also we have covered uh, sub specialty in medical practice uh, there are other healthcare courses videos also you can found on the doctor channel uh, if you have not yet subscribed doctor channel please subscribe to uh, it for such healthcare career and professional uh, updates so now uh, let us see the isccm overview indian society of critical care medicine it is a very well known professional body which is a non profit organization working in the critical care medicine field uh, for betterment of the professionals they are also conducting different conferences plus they are offering different fellowships for doctors nurses and paramedics the courses are recognized at different hospitals and institutes in india and and it also offers online courses there are two online fellowships also for the doctors we will discuss in later on on this video it also offers the membership lifetime membership for the medical professionals who are practicing intensive care critical care medicine etc and also the membership of uh, associate membership for the nurses and paramedics uh, in uh, working in the icu or critical care areas first fellowship is idccm indian diploma in critical care medicine so it is a post md ms or dnb or diploma in the graduates who have done in uh, internal medicine anesthesiology respiratory medicine tb chest etc so uh, and for them uh, the course duration is for the md candidates it is 1 year and for diploma candidates it is 2 years of course um, the course fee is around 14160 as per today's information plus also if you are not a member you also need to uh, apply for the membership which is a compulsory be, uh, at the time of admission usually the stipend at a uh, hospital which is different vary from 50000 to 70000 rupees per month uh, the, there are two admission sessions in a, a particular calendar year one one is in january and second is in july second course ctccm certificate training in critical care medicine it is a post mbbs fellowship course which is a two years of course and uh, usual uh, course fee is around 23600 plus 5154 uh, it is the associate life membership fees stipend you can expect around 40000 to 50000 in some centers it is also up to 60000 per month <clears throat> admission session again the same january and july third course is ifccm so it is a next level of fellowship after idccm it stands for indian fellow of critical care medicine i after idccm you can go for such fellowship direct entry f- to ifccm examination is for the candidates who have done dm dnb fnb in critical care medicine they can directly appear for the ifccm examination duration is 1 year so candidates who are appearing after idccm for them it's a one year of fellowship course the course fee is around 11800 plus 5900 is the repeated the registration fees which you need to pay to isccm the stipend vary from 70000 to 80000 per month admission sessions will be two sessions in a academic year april and october 
so in a april month april uh, session the uh, deadline would be the may 15th in october there are 31st october is the last deadline to register for the course uh, next is idccn indian diploma in critical care nursing eligibility is gnm or bsc nursing uh, candidates duration is one year and uh, the course fee is 1180 plus 590 is the registration fee stipend you can expect uh, 20,000 to 25,000 per month and the admission sessions are in january next fellowship is farc fellowship in advanced respiratory care it is uh, the course for allied health and paramedical uh, professionals graduates um, the minimum criteria is graduation in respiratory therapy like if you have done bsc or bachelor of respiratory therapy uh, you can uh, go further for such fellowship each idccm recognized center has two seats uh, for this course uh, the course duration is one year course fee is uh, 10000 rupees and stipend is 25000 per month as per the isccm policy that minimum of 25000 stipend should be offered by the hospital uh, SERT, advanced certification in respiratory technology this fellowship is offered for allied health and paramedical uh, candidates. Eligibility is graduation or diploma in any of the allied health specialty or a nursing professionals. Nursing graduates can also apply who has at least around five years of experience in ICU setup again the duration is one year course fee is 10000 and the stipend is 20000 per month as per the isccm policy that minimum of 20000 should be offered to the candidate fncc fellowship of neurocritical care so the eligibility is for the uh, neurologist, anesthesiologist, general physicians, emergency medicine physicians, neurosurgeons can go for such fellowship. And this fellowship is offered uh, in association with Society of Neurocritical Care India and ISCCM, both collaboratively offered this course. The qualification minimum required is around DM or DNB if a neurology candidate is there mch or dnb in neurosurgery if you have done or md M ms md in general medicine or emergency medicine or dnb candidates can all also apply for this fellowship duration is one year and next fellowship is fcrs fellowship of comprehensive respiratory support it is an online course which is organized by isccm faculty through the isccm uh, portal it is a six months of course the course fee is 15000 eligibility is md or dnb in internal medicine anesthesiology emergency medicine pulmonology and also the ctccm candidates also can opt for this course academic session is july next fellowship is FCCU fellowship in critical care ultrasound again it is an online course run by ISCCM body uh, through uh, the, their portal eligibility is MD or DNB in internal medicine anesthesiology respiratory medicine pulmonology uh, graduates also CTCCM and IDCCM candidates can opt this fellowship online fellowships duration is one year the uh, academic session is july so all these recognized center under isccm there are 239 recognized centers 
or in all over India where such fellowships is being offered. So all these 239 centers, you can uh, search for the fellowships of IDCCM, CTCCM, IDCCN courses in India. There are 95 centers who are offering IFCCM courses in India. It is the data is as per the ISCCM website in December 2022. And all the IDCCM recognized centers are automatically recognized and eligible for FARC and SERT fellowships and maximum of two seats in an academic year institutes or hospitals can enroll the candidates uh, for that courses so and all these all these such courses and institutes you can find on doctub courses you can go to all courses search you can filter the specialty you can directly uh, put your uh, fellowship uh, name on search bar it will show you the all the such institutes and hospitals list you can directly apply to multiple institutes and hospitals through doctor courses and wishing you a very all the best if you are looking for such fellowship and please do comment about any of such fellowship queries if you have done such fellowship please share your experience and guide others to join how to join and what is the curriculum what is your experience in this such fellowships so stay tuned with doctor see you next time thank you